There we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our weekly webinar. So today we'll be discussing our Heat Pro. So from the operational side, so we have done one before. So what we are going to be doing is just going through it a little bit again and then uh, showcasing some extra things. So just give me a moment quickly. There we go. Is it going to pop up there? There we go. Ha, perfect. All right, so just to start off, obviously we are familiar with the Heat Pro device itself. Um, we can use this product at a quite a vast amount of different locations and different uh, procedures. So we're gonna basically focus on that. So the first one is obviously gonna be our temperature screening. Uh, there we go. There we, come on, there we go. So, and then obviously we're also gonna be discussing our VCA and obviously the image uh, settings as well. So why is my PPT going so slow? All right, so product introduction, obviously you are familiar with the different amount of uh, models that we do have to offer on these ones, from the bio spectrum to the ones with just the, the normal heat pro sensor inside it. So we're gonna be having a look at that. So the nice thing about the temperature, this gives us the capability of obviously having a look at different temperatures for different environments to be a bit more proactive, especially with the fire prevention. So this helps us a lot, but it's not just the fire prevention, any company that has like a, a motor itself. Um, <laughs> I just saw the message there. Yeah, um, sorry, <laughs> I caught me a bit off guard. Um, so very nice system to be able to use. So especially if you've got like electrical motors, um, anything that might heat up and overheat itself, um, this allows us to basically look at that environment, set the sensitivity for the temperature itself. So if it exceeds it, it will warn you before it breaks down. And obviously if the temperature drops, it will also warn you to let you know that, okay, something has gone wrong. So being proactive regarding that. Um, I'm not sure if this one is a little video, but as you can see, I think it's a little bit light in color there, yeah. Um, so this will show you also on power lines. So especially for electricians, we have handle devices as well, but we just discussing the heat pro and where this application will help us quite a lot. So first of all, on the NVRs as an operational side, you need to also enable that display temperature information. That's very important. So you can see it on the video itself. It will show you that the, 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 the temperature on your overlay itself on your camera. Next one is obviously on the VCA section that we need to enable so we can see the different colors, the different uh, palettes itself. So you need to have a look at whatever your application might need. The, this is where you'll set it. Right, thereafter we'll go into the, from the temperature side and have a look at the camera. So we'll go to, first of all, channel one will be your normal video itself from the normal surveillance and camera two will always be your uh, heat pro for the thermo side. So depends on which channel you put it on, but it'll always be the first one and then the second one. This allows us to go and change your settings to whatever we would like to change it to. So whatever your protocols are. So as you can see in the picture there, this is where we're gonna be able to extend that itself. So the next one will give you a bit more of an indication. So once we set it up, as you can see, we can create new areas. So we'll select which areas we want. So we want number one, we can put up the temperatures, the, the threshold, the times, all those rules we can enable. So that gives us the capability for that. Next up is obviously to be able to set up the rules. That's also very important. So we can make sure that we can cover whatever grounds you, you would like to cover. So this gives us the capability of setting up those points. So we have quite a bit that we can do. We've got rules like a one line or the 10 points itself, et cetera, et cetera. And we can change the colors according to how you would like the alarm to be. So just to give you a bit of an indication how that basically works, here's a little video. So yeah, we have um, a few pipelines. We have a different motors that keeps on running to keep certain uh, liquids uh, cooled down. So this will be a nice graph to showcase that whole information for any big company. So as you can see in the, team, uh, the, the video, we have quite a few 
motors here that's spinning and their temperatures, you'll see the back one is low. So you can see with the heat itself, that one is shut down. Then we can also see different areas of what we can concentrate on. There's a little graph that you can put up so you can make sure that you keep your eye on it for that notification. So this allows us to do multiple different points itself. So just showing that again, so you can see the temperature differences. Obviously, if we know that if it exceeds 50 Celsius, it will warn you, it will send you a notification, it will alert, you can connect up an IP speaker for the control room or for that specific area to notify those operators that something is going wrong so they can have a look at it. Then obviously you can speak to them and tell them that, listen, I can see on the surveillance on the camera that, maybe motor number five has been shut down, something is wrong, please go and check what's going on there. All right, so very straightforward, very easy. Another scenario, this is at our office itself. Oh, whoops. This is at our office itself outside. So just to show you that environment area. So obviously as a rule, we put it up so that once the vehicle enters that area and the temperature is right, it will accept that. But obviously, if the temperature exceeds that, it will warn you because it's uh, run into that environment. So it's ignoring everything else. So we'll go through that as well just now. So just to have a look at those temperatures for the linkage as the notifications. So you would like to get that notifications. This is where you would like to do it. If you do have a siren or maybe a strobe light, this is where you'll be able to trigger those locations to be able to allow the system to know that listen, something is going on and it will make a noise there, an audible noise. The, the new Heat Pro cameras do come out with the built-in flashlight and the siren noise itself. So it makes things a lot easier as well. Okay, so just to showcase that, here's a little bit of a clip just to explain that a bit more into detail. Obviously here we're logging into the camera. So there we collect it. We enable the rules as well, so we can see the rules on the display. So this is in a server box. This is actually very nice. I've used this before. It helps us to look after the switches. Obviously this one is a mess, but it's not my, my setup, but this helps us to be able to keep control over certain areas. So what you will do is by each switch, draw a little block by the power supply, put your temperature in there as an average, and then obviously if it exceeds it, it will warn you. If it drops, it tells you that it's obviously switched off. And this is where we'll draw all those little setup rules for that. Okay, and then no alarm rules, how long we need the temperature, the threshold, etc. Okay. This is a nice way to basically keep control over the, the safety of the specific environment. It doesn't have to be a server box or imagination can go wild with you. So on electrical motors or whatever that industry needs it to be proactive regarding the security and the safety of objects that's there. Remember always to save, it's also very important. Okay, now we can have a look at that. So there you can see the different temperatures of that environment that we are trying to monitor. And again, you can change the palettes. I really prefer the red palette when it comes to this specific application because it helps me to show me exactly where that temperatures are on the server itself to make sure that I keep There he's putting a little coffee mug, or oh, sorry, glass there with hot water. So you can see that. Okay, very nice setup. Okay, so on the VCA side, this is also very nice. So obviously the target point itself for the humans and the people, so it helps us a lot. So if there's anything that you would like to play back, you can use the VCA rules as well. So you can put your line or your block itself and then you can go back and it will tell you exactly when those alarms were when those triggers were if you want to go back on that. So that's also a very nice feature. So displaying your rule information as well. 
that is also something that helps us a lot to enable that so that you can see that VCA functions as well. So especially on the stream. So to showcase that a bit more. So yeah, as an example, we've excluded this area of the heat. So when the trees or whatever the case is reflecting, or we are only concentrating on that. So that gives us the capability to do that. Right, so this is where we'll be able to draw those different lines. What we would like to see are the human vehicle or both. So this gives us that capability, so very nice. And then obviously also if, uh, to note as well, if there's any problems that you created, you played around with it, it also gives you options to reset that. So you can go back to the normal settings and then start again if you might have made any uh, problems. It also gives us a capability to have that single alarm so you can change it, the different modes as well as there. So it depends on that application. So just to showcase that a bit more on the VCA, a very nice guide. And I've got some additional videos that I would like to show. Again, with the nice music. My apologies, there we go. So just like we explained, the nice thing is once you select them, the, the auto save is there. Some features you have to still save. So keep that in mind as well, especially when you go onto the camera directly. Your rules are there. Also remember to name your rules so you know exactly what rules are coming through for the notifications for the control room. That's also very important. And as you can see, you can change that little angle where you would like it. We have done this information as well in a previous video, the same module, but I just want to showcase more and go through it again. Very nice setup. Okay. So not just on your line, also intrusion. So for any villa or any golf estate or normal uh, home estate, um, this is perfect because you can use these cameras and have more of accuracy as a notification for human intrusion. So that's also a nice tool to be able to use instead of just the normal camera itself. My apologies, I don't know why it stopped. I don't know why it stopped. There we go. All those other areas you can exclude them completely. So we'll see now in the future. So all those areas you can exclude you don't have to see them at all. Um, so you're just focusing on your main itself, which is a very nice feature. Right, moving on. So on the image settings itself, this gives us the capability of also pulling those lines or making sure that we have all the image information that we need. So just as normal, also remember, like I said, name those cameras for the correct area so you know exactly what you need to name it for. All right. Also, you can change the different settings on that. It's up to you, but you have to look at your environment. Next up, like I mentioned very nicely, you can change those little temperature palettes itself to in order to tell you wherever those certain areas is. So. It's up to you to change the colors according to what you might need it. We do have already our own rainbow settings for our palettes. So that gives us the capability of using the default. But if you would like to customize it, it is there. So this is where that little option would be. So you can change those palettes. Like I mentioned for server cabinets, I prefer to use the, um, the red one, the, the red hot. So that gives us the capability of just looking at those certain temperatures. I don't need to see all the other ones. So as you can see in the picture here, you can have a look at where those temperatures are starting and where they are ending. So the color 
ratio will show you what that temperature line would be. So very nice setup as well. So yeah, you can see the vehicle has entered into that area. Obviously we've got the temperature trigger. So it gives us that notification as well as if we have human beings in that area, it will show you as well what those different temperatures are. So very nice setup, easy to use, not that difficult and a lot of applications where this can be used. Okay, thank you. Let me show you guys one or two additional things just to showcase a bit more. Um, go. So as just on the unit itself, I'm just gonna showcase this quickly. So just to give you a bit of idea how those little new models are looking, obviously we have new boxes as well. With the two degree plus or minus differences compared to the previous eight degrees plus or minus. The nice thing is about these, you can see where the warning light is, the lens itself, the thermal lens is on the other side, the show button at the bottom. So everything is nice and easy, that's how the model would look like. And then obviously on the cable side, we have the capability of looking at the audio in. We have our power, our CBBS connection, our RS45, our lock of one alarm two, so two built in relays, and then also our network plug as well. So that's on our bullet. But just to showcase the, the next model, that will be our little dome. So yes, we don't have those little normal round domes. The thermo can't see through the plastic. So that give us the ability to make sure that the nice and normal dome width. So same goes towards those cables as well. So just to showcase, obviously you have your audio in, audio out. So YouTube or like so your alarm trigger as well so if you would like to use that functionality okay so let me close this one okay let's have a look at the next one i would like to showcase to you guys i don't think this one is going to work but let me see if i can open it this way Oh, 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 oh. It's not working that way that I wanted it to, to work. There we go. Okay, so especially on the AX Pro to link that up, very nice little feature as well, just to show that as well. So you'll take your camera, connect it up to the Heat Pro, and then basically have it going through to your operator or your Heat Connect app as well. The nice option about that is it gives us a capability of linking it and making sure that using that uh, analytic itself for the Heat Pro. So it's a very nice feature as well. So let me open up the next one. Oh, that one is finishing. So just to showcase the next one that I wanted to um, show to you guys. So yeah, is a Heat Pro that they've set up in a kitchen. Yes, it's a rough little environment, but I would like to showcase that as well. So is it the mouth on the right one? I'm not sure if I'm on the right one. Yeah, I'm the wrong one. Apologies. Let's try that again. Okay. There we go. Let me just move that over. So yeah, it's creating a fire in the kitchen. It's going to be within 50 seconds. But we knew that that's not a very good amount. We gave it reviews and a notification goes through, and you can check it out. Right, I just want to play that again just to show you guys. Okay. 
Next up is I wanted to showcase you to you guys this one. So yeah, they've created a little environment for it. So as you can see in the picture there, they have that fire going. Also, it's just about the distance, the degree angle, um, also the height of the flame, um, showing all that information to the normal overlay itself. So as you can see in the picture, it gives us that indication, so which is pretty awesome. So this is just a different uh, palette itself to show that as well. So it will show you what the maximum degree is. So the camera keeps on focusing on that. So obviously because it's bar spectrum, it gives us both those images at the same time. So as you can see, and for those of you that are familiar with the old Heat Pro, you'll see also on the thermal side, the quality of that image is much better compared to what it was before. And obviously in the future, it will even get more better regarding that. Obviously on our heat, our normal thermography thermo cameras for our heat micro, that quality is even more advanced, but this is our entry level just to showcase that. Okay. So again, different environment, six millimeter lens. So you can see the distance itself for the testing. So just because of that distance, you can imagine where you could use that for multiple different applications. So that helps a lot. And yes, there's no way for us to be able to zoom in on a thermo camera or change it itself. That is just the degree angle of the lens and the distance we're able to see. It's not the same as the normal viewing camera itself. The viewing camera will have a larger field of view compared to the thermo camera. Right. Nobody on the bicycles. There you go. So next testing is on two millimeter itself, and obviously the distance a little bit closer, but still just to showcase that as well. As you can see in the picture, it's half the degree for that environment. And then the last one. There we go. So that's the product that they were using. That's the height of the flame that they were concentrating on. And obviously that's just the normal tripod that we use for our testings here at Geek Vision itself. All right. Next one is just to showcase also very similar. It's a different scenario. Let me just get to it. Uh, it will be this one. No, it's not that one. Ha. Mm. I think we've gone through all of them, yeah. Uh, looks like it. So let me just quickly show you guys for the alarm set up on the heat connect. So just show that as well. So obviously we log into the camera's browser and when you do install this and you connect it up to the alarm panel. So just keep in mind that you need to hit it up on the camera itself. So as you can see the new link. Okay, so on the platform, we would like to enable it to the heat connect, just like any normal device itself. Make sure that you put in an easy, or not an easy, but a, a verification code that you'll remember. A lot of the guys sometimes put it in and they forgot and they get confused. So very simple for that one. Okay, once you've saved it, fresh. So now it will show you that it's online, it's connected. So after that, we're going to be able to set up whatever our rules are. So we would like to make sure we can see everything. Rule one, the line crossing. 
beauty of it. Looking for human, online area. Obviously, human being crafts it. Also, very important when it comes to line crafting and the intrusion, make sure that you can see the person or the vehicle entering the field of view and then it is across the environment or into the environment trigger. Use your pass alarms. A lot of the guys are not doing that. You can't just immediately just pick up the human being. They expect going to the bottom of your and have to walk to the bottom. Uh, as you can see, scanned the camera, added it. So now we're going to say enable notifications. <laughs> We want to receive those notifications from the camera. This is just the camera standalone, but it's the same principle if you had to connect it up to uh, the AX Pro. So they cross the line, you'll see the message come true. This is on our older model, but it's just as a demonstration to show you guys how that comes through. Right. You can also click on the little playback, it will give you that video. Okay, I've got one more to show you guys. Let's go through it. Ah, no. Oh, no. It crashed on me. Let's try that again. Hopefully it will open. No, it keeps on crashing. So let's go and physically open it through VLC. Okay, just want to stop it there and share the screen for that one. Give me one second. There we go. All right, just to showcase the differences and where you might be able to set it up as well. So I just wanted to go through that with you guys. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a different of temperature, so you can control that environment that you're concentrating that you would like to look at. I'm just gonna skip a little bit so we can move along. Uh, they're gonna show. So as you can see, this is the person, he's got a coffee mug, he's entering that environment and their triggers and the notification will go through. So very straightforward, easy, gives you all that information. So just looking at a different environment area. I think it's gonna, there we go. I think it's just looping. Uh, yeah, just looping. All right, so very nice feature. That's basically how it will let you know as well. Okay, that's it. Let me just stop the share. Uh, all right, so that is the best way that I can explain to you a little bit more um, if there's any questions, obviously stay after that for the Q&A, and then uh, we can go through that as well. Thank you very much. Let me just stop the recording here.